welcome back to Behind the Scenes with Estilosolding.com. Today I'm really excited to share this presentation with you as I will be printing and debuting a brand new design titled Harmonic Blues for the very first time. And the fun part is we'll get to see how that turns out together. So here I have a printout of the drawing on paper and I've just picked up the film and screens from my good friends over at Big Printing. They handle all of my color separation, film output, and screen burning for me as my space here doesn't allow for all of that bulky pre-press equipment. So, uh, from this stage, what I'm going to do is prepare the screens to go to press. So, let me show you one of these here. This is one of the screens here and uh, one of the colors. And let me just explain that real quick. I know a lot of you already know what that means, but I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of that. So the new drawing here is a six color image and this black is actually representation of the t-shirt color that it's going to go on. So don't count this color but everything else is six colors. So when I, do they, when I say they do my color separation what they do is break apart each of the six colors into its own image. And so this is just the dark gray and they've burned this nice for me onto the screen <laughs> this old-fashioned screen here old-fashioned wood screen you don't see these too much around and um, I'm just noticing here that this one says spring of 1996 so this screen goes all the way back to my second year of business and uh, this means I was still taking classes at Laney College and that's where I actually started my company I started producing um, shirts out of the classroom. I uh, would print boxes of shirts and then take them down to Telegraph Ave on the, on the weekends and sell them. So, I mean, talk about grassroots. And, uh, and this screen has a lot of history then. So, it held some of my original designs and now to my latest design. So, as you can see here, it's coated nicely all the way to the edges, but we still need to take some, some caution here. So, what we're going to do is tape it up. We're going to tape up these corners here just to like give it a seal so no ink can leak through these, these corners here and come out either onto your garment or onto your press. So let me just tape this one up here for you now. So you just want to make sure you seal those corners so no ink can get through there. I'm using clear tape but this tape extends all the way in here all the way around the perimeter so it's completely over the the coating and then it goes onto a, about half of the rim of the frame so it'll stop any ink from getting through these corners that aren't perfectly coated all the way around and then the other thing you got to do when you're preparing your screen is check for any imperfections. Just hold it up to the light, see if there's any holes, like here's a little tiny one here. And then also there's the registration marks, and I always have them burn the color for me in case I get confused what color I'm working with. Um, and usually what I do with this is I cover this stuff up with block out. But unfortunately I didn't know I was running a little bit low on it, so I'm just going to use tape today. Which is fine, except for when you use tape to go on the front part of the screen you just have to have a little bit of caution when you're printing not so much the first time but the follow-up time that the tape hasn't come off or that it hasn't trapped ink from when you clean the screen because next time you print it can get onto the garment you're printing on and uh, mess it up so let's see here 
through it. And also, be careful that you don't go over the image. So let's look at it again. Looks pretty good. Here's a little imperfection there, so I just want to put something over that. Okay, so this screen is good to go. And another quick explanation what I'm talking about here. Um, this dark, dark part of the screen is a photo emotion. So it's going to block anything from coming through this area. The light part of the screen has no emotion over it. It's basically the raw screen. And when I say screen, it's a silk screen, which are little tiny meshes of holes that's going to allow the ink to come through. And that's why they call this method screen printing. So I have this one ready to go. What I'm going to do now is tape up and prepare the rest of the screens, and then we'll meet back over in the print shop to line it up and run the job. Okay? Okay, so now we're here in the print shop, and I've got my screens back here. They're all taped up, ready to go. So what I do now is I take uh, the best film to line up the whole job. Usually it's your black film because it outlines the whole image. Um, in this case, the black doesn't exactly outline everything, but I still believe it's the best one to line up all the colors to. So what I'm going to do here is um, line this up centered on the platter, and it's got these middle crop marks, and I have a line on my table here, so it's easy to line up, or I should say it's easy to center. So center that, take it down, okay, now When you line up your screens, or when you set up your screens, I should say, you want to set them up in the order that you think will print the best, as far as what color comes first, next, so on, until the last color. So I've already arranged my screens in what I think would be the best way, the best approach to print this. Um, and I may change that later. After this first printing, I might decide, oh, this color should go before this one, or this one after that one. So we're going to go ahead and line this up. So I'm starting with the white color here. Put this on. Just loosely tighten it down so I can line up the pattern to the image. Okay, so my press here is a tabletop six color silver press um, manual, no frills. <laughs> so, to line it up, I just use my fingers, the little tap taps, to get it to line up properly. So let's do that. And always check every tiny little area because you might have it lined up in one place and not lined up in another. Okay, so this looks pretty good. This one down. And move on to the next color. Now we have all the 
screens lined up to our image here. So we can take this film down. We don't need this anymore. Set this aside. And that's one of the most important steps in this whole process, is lining up each color to the outline. So your image is completely lined up and it's a nice presentation on the finished garment. So now what we're going to do is load the inks. So I already have some squeegees here ready to go from the last job I did. So I'm just going to load up the colors. Okay, so now we have all the ink colors loaded up and um, ideally what you want to do at this point is uh, run, run a tester. But since we're doing this live and this is the first printing, it'll be a little more exciting to run it on an actual garment. So I hope it comes out good. I hope I lined it up <laughs> as well as I think I did, what we're about to see together. So I'm just going to warm up the platter here a little bit. It makes the ink a, a little softer to come through on the first passes. I have my shirts over here. Okay, warm this up a little bit. Lay down my spray adhesive. put on my first garment here. Okay. So today I'm running these on a garment color called Midnight Navy. So I've got my I've got my spot heater and my conveyor back here and the spot heater is just to uh, quickly dry some of the colors so you can put another color on top and the conveyor heater is actually cure the image it's heat, um, the designs are heat cured so I was going to go ahead and start this with the white so here's the white let's run it shortly so to get a more in-depth look at it you can check out www.estiloclothing.com and uh, this will be loaded into the men's category all right so we're just gonna put this in the cure and that's gonna do it for another episode of behind the scenes with estiloclothing.com I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this stack of shirts label them and get them ready to go into the shelf and into stock for you guys and we'll see you next time